Welcome back everybody to the second episode of Steel Division 1944, the German campaign. It's called Pegasus Bridge. Um, before I jump into that, however, I'd like to make a quick shout out. You probably just saw an ad before this. You know I don't um, monetize my videos yet. So that's because these Steel Division videos do get claimed by the copyright owners of the music. Now I could turn off the music and get rid of the ads, but I don't know how it's better for you. I think it's more enjoyable for you guys to watch a 10 second ad and enjoy the music than not, or five second, I think it's the ad, I don't know. So um, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And if you guys r really hate seeing the ads, I'm gonna take out the, um, the music, but I think this is the more enjoyable way of watching it. Pegasus Bridge. Obostrau, the British paratroopers holding the bridge at Binuil are now isolated from the main beachhead. This is an opportunity to wipe them out, which we won't get again. Your objectives are to attack and retake the bridge from them before they can be reinforced by commandos and more airborne troops coming in from Merville. Okay, we'll secure that bridge. Our delaying action has given 736th Grenadier Regiment enough time to re-establish a line of defense inland, allowing our Kampfgruppe to regroup in Gazur. But Major von Luck's situation east of the Orn isn't going as well. His counterattack has stalled and is finding himself under increasing pressure from incoming paratroopers. Oberst Opel's movements have been heavily hampered by Allied bombing and resistance sabotage. Only a handful of his panzers have been able to reach their assembly area. The rest are still delayed south of Caen. It befalls us to remedy their absence. Our orders are to move east of the Orn and support Major von Luck's renewed offensive. The objective remains the same. Recapture the bridges at Benouville. British paratroopers are stubbornly defending every access to the Orn bridges. They are likely equipped, although they have salvaged and turned against us one of our PRK-40s from the bridge's garrison. Besides, any unit which managed to slip through our net this morning can be expected to have reinforced them. With each passing hour, the British are receiving reinforcements. Major von Luck's men have even encountered some light airborne tanks. Our own reconnaissance battalion has reinforced us, as well as some artillery elements. But reports indicate that British commandos have managed to take foot east of the Orn and are moving with some tank support towards the bridge to relieve the paratroopers. Speed is of the essence here, Herr Major. The longer it takes to secure the bridge, the stronger the enemy resistance will become. We must secure those bridges without delay. Prepare the commandos' reinforcements. Okay, it's said all units that Come slipped on. through the last time. Um, are here as well, but I think that's just one unit, so that shouldn't be a problem. It says here 10 minutes for that. This is not a long march. I mean, obviously, they're going to be very, very entrenched here, but we'll see. Um, we will face a great number of elite paratroopers with anti tank guns. Our recon units mm. should detect them and avoid being ambushed. With its 20 millimeter gun, the SPW 231 is well suited to clear the way. See, I don't really see why I should be using this thing. Because they can go into woods, this can't. They can't be destroyed with an anti-tank gun within seconds. I mean, they still die easily, but uh, we'll hold on to it for now. ...have been attached to our battle group. Grenadiers and Osttruppen are lighter equipped than our own Panzer Grenadiers, but they are welcome reinforcement. Taking advantage of cover as much as possible 
Our infantry should be able to advance on Pegasus Bridge, hidden from enemy artillery and machine guns. But beware those red devils, they are deadly in close range battle. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot see a single difference between those two units. Okay, those come with the DMA and those come with the Kübel. No, carved set 70. But besides that, I think they're absolutely identical. Uh, and they are worse than my Panzer Grenadiers because they have anti-tank weapons. So, something to keep in mind. Maybe like this. We have received some veteran Panzer 4 and tank commanders. They are more powerful than any allied armor in the sector. Panzer 4C and SPW-233 with their short barrel 75mm guns are very good fire support units. Use them. This is so annoying that you have this person talking down here when you're trying to think because you're really thinking like, oh, what can I use? How can I use it? And he keeps talking over you. I know I've said this for every episode, but the person that came up with this being a good idea is an idiot. very low on activation points actually. Our artillery can weaken the enemy defenses around the bridge. Air support is still limited, therefore we'll have to choose. Bombers are your best asset to quickly neutralize enemy guns. You I think only this bombs, is a good choice and we'll have to try. Um, I don't know what's expecting me here again, uh, so... He's going to be defending this area, I hope. So we really just have this to worry about. I mean, we could launch where he is and try to go like this, but what would I win? I mean, I could... I could spawn here and here and push through here. Here I'd be fighting more in the woods, here I'd be fighting more in the open. What do you guys think? Um, I'm gonna put you here and you here. I'm gonna make a huge infantry push from here into here and I'm gonna put a few infantry units in here to hold off any enemy counterattacks and I'm hoping that he's gonna take care of whatever comes here. So I'm going to put one of these here and then I'm going to put a whole bunch here. I wanted some artillery here, definitely. Ooh, actually I think I want, I don't want this, I want this one. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't need this much anti-tank, so how about I add some of these because they're cheaper. That I can give one over here. So all of you guys get into here. And no, without you, all of you unload here and then we're gonna walk into there. And this tank just goes here. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Oh yeah, we've seen the enemy is in here. Shoot. Mein Herr, the British have turned the bridge garrisons pack 40 anti-tank gun against us. And they have the cheek to lecture people on fair play. I didn't get that. Why isn't that fair play to use our own guns against us? Half the tanks we're using, like all of the tanks I'm having here, uh, aren't German tanks. So, not sure what all that was about. Um, move up, move up, move up.
he's gonna need one of these. These guys aren't doing too well. They kind of get mauled. I also should definitely get at least one Panzer Fuhrer here and here. Oh, why why aren't you guys advancing with the rest? Damn it! I screwed something up. You stay here. I want my infantry in first. Wait. I keep hearing we can't go on anymore. Is all my people surrendering and I don't see it? Uh, because I don't see why. Oh, there's snipers here. to go here. You will also definitely need to go here. Yeah. Should have done that a long time ago. Um, he's gonna take care of that and he could take care of that. Um, spread out a bit so the w shots at the one unit don't pin the other unit but all in all this doesn't look too bad. I really want to take out the snipers. at that thing. Actually I do want my second artillery. We are on the very attack so I think this is a good a good thing to spend money on. You're also pinned. Everyone's always pinned. What's going on here? I can get a bit more infantry, but only a bit. And uh, a bit more Raken, maybe. Okay. We are kinda good in here. You shoot at that thing and you shoot at that thing. If both of you don't stop shooting. I want you to fire this position because we know the enemy's here, right? Please do shoot now. doing our best. I mean obviously our people are also taking damage from this but it is our best hope here. Shoot that thing. Yeah of course he somehow still got out of shot after being hit. That's just what they do. We need more recon units up. We need more recon units up here. This is kind of defensively adequate, I feel. I mean, it's, n it's, it's not a good thing here, but it's okay. Um, you move up so we see a bit. You move here. Go up. We're getting a lot more units here and I kind of want to use them. Oh damn it! 
Damn, why does that thing have such a huge range? Yeah, he's dead anyway, he's bailed out, so it doesn't matter too much. How is he doing that? I can never do that, okay. You guys go in here. You also go here. I want to take out that mortar. Let him out of there. You advance. Go here. You also need to take out that thing. You guys can try to kill that. Yeah, I have taken this wood and I've put quite a lot of people in it and that's all I've managed to do in the last 10 minutes so and there's still quite a way to go keep in mind that so far this is the amount we've taken and this is the amount we need to take how about you shoot here Okay, the British commanders have landed. It's not particularly good news. Here comes the Luftwaffe. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. Let's get that and I wanna get my good tanks here. And you I can this fly here. Okay. Watch out, British mosquitoes. There's a hell is the Luftwaffe. What you fly there and you try to bomb those. You guys move up a bit. You guys get more infantry in here. Oh. What? But here is the entire 706th infantry, right? Why can't they push onto this? This is not going well. Um, okay, he's moving up a little bit, but I'm really not sure how I could do that. We've basically lost all of this. Um, how about we're moving you up here like that? We 
We need more infantry, though all infantry here basically just dies. Being infantry over here is... <laughs> it basically means somebody hates you and somebody wants you dead. Tank stand here for a moment. Why are they. I've had them shoot at people. Why are they still shooting at the position when that person moved away? Move in there. You two need to move up. You can get two more tanks, which I will. You need to stand here, you can support them. Shoot at that, please. I don't know. Do you guys think we're doing good? I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm not sure, actually. Oh no, they're shooting down my one airplane. Don't have another one. So... Maybe you could move up a bit. You also are moving up. here. You can move here. Of course. He w but he, uh, his gun was out so it's not a bad loss that we've lost him. I mean I it's still losing units so let's not pretend it's not bad to lose him but it's not that bad. I think I'm gonna need a new support vehicle over here because this is starting to really hit my units. Uh, my ammunition, I mean. this. Some more infantry. Shoot at him, you shoot at him, you shoot at him. No, at him. We do need those. We could do with some MGs. People are just dying here. Let's wait for the last batch of infantry, and it's really the last batch that I have. 
and the last batch of tanks and when everyone is in position we are going to go for this Move through. Come on, let's try this. Get out. You go in here. Move up. Move up in here. Move up here. You can take him out. Okay, we've secured it. General Feuchtiger will be pleased. This achievement traps the British beachhead west of the Ord River. So Oh! This was already the mission. <laughs> uh I was kind of expecting there to be like a secondary objective or something. Well, it worked. Uh, it wasn't graceful. Um, I think we've lost a lot of units, but we've done it. So <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah, we killed the team. That's how it felt. Like our, our support was not good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We will go for Panzer IV the next time. And uh, I will see you for the third episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.